Finally done decorating. It's like the 11th of October. I intended to get everything done on the 1st, but got <laughs> sidetracked with other things. But this is my new light up spider web. I've had a giant spider web for years, but it was just white and totally invisible at night and I wanted to get a lit one. So I bought one at the end of Halloween last year and checked it out. It worked and then put it up and managed to trip over the wire and rip it in two. So <laughs> I was going to have somebody fix it, but I just, I found this one. It was under 20 bucks and it looks great. So just going to go with that. And this is the spider I got a couple years ago. But yeah, I love the spider web. It adds a lot. This is the very dark apple tree, so not much to see here. I might put something in there. I don't know. I don't want to spend any more money this year. Um, this is my Day of the Dead kitty and my giant kitty whose head turns back and forth. I love him. He's so cool. I wish his eyes would still light up, but they stopped working up. They stopped working like, I don't know, right about the time when it was... Um, time that I could have returned it so yeah because I bought it like a month before Halloween and then it didn't work um or it worked for like two days that's my little uh trick-or-treating ghost who I've had forever my giant 12 foot ghost I just love him doesn't he look awesome and gets the setting sun and the ominous storm clouds he's so awesome he's really good at uh writing himself when I have everything on a plugged into one cord that goes into a Alexa smart plug and so it's all programmed to go on at 615 every day and uh, what's cool is he always gets himself upright but uh, if there's any kind of wind and I forgot the other day there was some wind that kind of tossed the top of him under the tree then he gets caught so I just got her I actually have an Alexa reminder for 10 minutes after the light goes out T check the tall ghost and I just peek out front and make sure he's vertical <laughs> But there he is. Then if we go to the steps, these are just um, solar lights that I've had for a while. They're really cool. They can be either white or changing color. So I have them alternating. So the top two are white and the third two are white and the other ones are colored. It's kind of hard to tell because there's a spotlight on the house right now doing this swirl of like purple and magenta colors. Um, and we'll go over here to the bed. Now I didn't put the, I was going to put the little fence up, but I realized it kind of blocks seeing this. And uh, it's just one of those things the wind kind of knocks over and stuff. So I didn't put the plastic fence pieces up. But this is just an assortment of uh, pumpkins and bones. A couple of my pumpkins light up. And these other two, I'll put battery lights in Halloween night. So they'll all be lit up. Then I put, decided this year to put my skeleton flamingos in here because they're really hard to get into the soil in the yard and then the wind uh, knocks them around too much and they're just a pain in the ass. So I decided to put them in the raised bed because I can push them down further in here. So as it gets darker, they'll be more visible. And I may add another string of lights to the bed here. I think some red lights would look cool. Then I have my skeleton over here. And as you can see, there's a spotlight on here that's doing... Um, lightning. It also plays thunder, but I don't have it. In fact, I'll turn it on for you guys to hear. It's quite loud if you want it. If I can find the knob. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But again, it's not quite dark enough yet to really see this very well. And then in the window, I have my... I love these giant monster window clings that I bought last year and then the lights are LED color changing I found the green is the brightest and looks the coolest and I have it just on a combination setting and then what's cool about these is they have a six hour on and off timer so if I set them when I initially set them up at 6 15 I turned them on and hit the six hour timer and now they automatically turn off at 12 15 and the rest of the lights go off at 12 30 so perfect Aren't those cool? I love it. And then I have blackout curtains in that window that are white on the backside to help reflect the sun. And uh, yeah, kind of cool that uh, it makes a really good backdrop for the color of the lights. So let's go over here. Can't really see it too well, but this is a cute kitty flag. I actually found this on Timu. It's super cute. I love anything that looks like vintage Halloween. And that's one of my old boyfriends. He's under the porch. Can't get out. My uh, dead kitty. Oh, I forgot to put my other Halloween flag up. This guy will light up. I just don't have him on right now. A couple of my Day of the Dead kitties. 
on the porch. I didn't put my Halloween flag up because I have my Kamala Harris flag up. Oh no, Kamala is attacking the cat. <laughs> anyway, and then let's see, let's go up here. This will be lit up as well. This is a witch's cauldron and it has a mister in it and a snake. And I'll have some little lights around here. I just don't put them on all the time. Um, and this is Zero. I love him. He's on a wire that I colored black and so a cord and a wire and I made him black so it just looks like he's floating. And then I have one little tack. Oops, he's kind of, his tail is showing out. But um, I just have a little tack there at the base stuck to the uh, wall so he he always turns, keeps facing this way. Oh, wait a minute, we gotta pause. I gotta put my bats on. Just realize, just realize I also don't have my werewolf or my animated witch who's in that corner there so i'll do another video halloween night but here is my bat window just window clings and a couple of neon bats and these neon bats are so cool they're not really neon they're just plastic and tubing and they connect you can just barely kind of see the cords coming down off of them they connect to a uh, rechargeable power bank and since they're led i've had these up here for maybe four or five days already and i haven't charged the led power bank once and i have it on from like six to midnight every day so pretty cool they use led is awesome because it uses so little electricity or a power i should say but um, we've got a couple of ghosts, a tombstone, and a kitty in this window. Um, and then let's go over here. We've just got a bunch of signs, mostly Dollar Tree. Check out Dollar Tree. They have tons of really cool stuff. The witch is in. We've got Jack, and he's holding a sign that says, Dead and Breakfast, come stay with us forever, and a pumpkin. And let's see. Look at this cute boy. Oh, he's not so cute, is he? Ooh. Uh, spider lights. I think I just got those last year, maybe. But they're really cute. They add a bit more light. Because I don't like to have the porch light on. It's really high up there. And I'd have to get up on the st on the ladder way too higher than I want to be to uh, change the bulb to something lower. So I never use that porch light. Um, this is my countdown sign. And a welcome sign. And then we've got some more signs. A lot of these I've had forever. And then the witch will go in this corner. More signs, more signs, more signs. But yeah, so that is my Halloween. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Drink lots of booze and uh, go trick-or-treating. <laughs>